viewers welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my video thank you for subscribing please if you are yet to subscribe kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload new video in today's tutorial we are going to be making a wrap top it will be a peplum wrap top and i'll be making use of this fabric here this fabric is two years so let's get started first i'm going to be cutting the back side first and i will not attach any zip to this top so i will fold my fabric into two first as you can see my fabric is folded into two i will take my half length measurement the half length i'm working with is 17 inches I'll be adding one inch for same allowance. I will mark it out with my ruler. You see where I'm starting my measurement from this folded side because this back side will not have any zip. The shoulder that I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 inches. Still on this side, I'll mark 3 inches for shoulder slope. Where I mark my shoulder measurement, I will go down by one inch. Then from this one inch, take my ample measurement, eight and a half inches. I'm also dividing my ample by two. That's 17 divided by two will give us eight and a half inches. I will connect the line. I also mark out this shoulder slope. Still cut out and go up. I take my bust measurement. The bust I'm working with is 42 inches. 42 divided by 4 will give us 10.5. I take 10.5. Add same allowance. I'll be using 2 inches for same allowance. The waist I'm working with is 34 and a half inches. 34 and a half divided by Four will give us 8.6. So I will mark out 8.6 here. This is 8.6. I also take one inch for that. So I will mark out same allowance. Then connect from my bust line to my shoulder. For the neckline, I'll be using 4 inches for the width. For the back neckline, I'll use 2 inches for the depth. Then connect. This is it. I'll go ahead and cut it out.
got out of the necklace. So this is it. So I'll use this now to cut out the front overlapping side. Okay, for the overlapping side, you place this back side on top of your fabric like this. Trace out the armhole. So I'm going to cut out the armhole. Also cut out the shoulder slope. This is it. I've traced out the armhole by cutting it out and also cut out the shoulder slope. Okay, for the front side, after tracing this side out and also mark this neckline here, measure out half of your waist measurement. This is it, starting from this one that I place on top. So the waist that I'm working with. It's 34 and a half, 34 and a half divide by 2 will give us 17.25. So I'll measure it out here. Okay, 17.25 and 17.2. I'll also add the same allowance. Two inches for same allowance. So I'm going to slant it from this place that I mark out for neckline. So I will slant it down to this 17.2 together with allowance. So if you don't want yours to be this straight like this, you can curve it a little bit, not too much. So I will go ahead and cut this out, then use this to cut out the second part of this wrap. I have cut it out. So because I will be attaching belt to this over laptop. So here I will move up here by one and a half inches. So here will be straight like this. So this is where I'm going to attach belt. I will use this one now to cut the second part. Okay, for the second part, I also use this front side of this wrap. Place it on top of my fabric. And it's right side facing towards the right side. So the right side is facing towards the right side. It's the wrong side. So I will go ahead and cut out the same thing. Thank you. 
So this is it. So I will go ahead and cut out the lining. Line them. Close the shoulder and bust sides before cutting out the peplum. So I finished lining them. This is the two front. This is the back. And this is the belt that I'll be using for it. Nice to insert that. And how to get that? Replace this front part together like this. Fold this back into two like this. To determine the midpoint of this front one. This is the midpoint. So I'm not here. So I'm not this place. This is where my dad will start from. So I'm going to measure. Four inches away from here. This four inches is post to post measurement. That's nipple to nipple point. We divide it by two to get where you fix your dart. The post to post measurement I'm working with is eight inches. Divide by two, give us four. So I'll be adding half inch to it. Remember that we left one inch for that. So I will use half inch here when you fold it up like this it will be one inch so this is where my dart will be so i also notch this for the back one also repeat the same thing you fold it into two also measure as bust to bust measurements then add half inch to it And also notch it. So this is it. So I'm going to fix that here. And also fix that here also. And then close up this place. For the belt, this is how I'm going to attach the belt. I left this one and a half inches that I left earlier for this belt. So I'm going to attach it like this from the right side you place it like this then stitch it up when you open it up it will be like this so that's how I'm going to attach the belt this is it I've attached the rope I also join the two shoulders together this is the second rope so now we'll close the two sides This is it. I'll take my body measurement. Boss is 42 inches. 42 divided by 2 will give us 21. So I will check what is remaining here. This is 2 and a half inches. I will take 1.2 from here. 1.2 from here. I also take my waist measurement 34 and the half divide by 2 will give us for 17.25. So I will mark out 17.2 here. I also check what is many here. This is 2 and the half. I also take 1.2 from here. Also take 1.2 from here. Then connect from my boss line. To my waist measurement also connect this side so for this side of the rope when I'm sewing it I will leave about two inches open so I will stitch from here so here will be open where this rope will pass through so I will leave this space here now open then close up 
this place with this is it this is space that I left here yeah this room will pass through so next thing now to do is to measure around this place measure around this place that's this west line This is 48 inches and that is what I will use to cut out the peplum. First, I'm going to fold my fabric into two. As you can see, my fabric is folded into two. I will fold it again, making it into four. So I'm going to divide this 48 inches by 6.28 to determine the radius that will cut out here so i'm going to divide 48 by 6.28 this is it now folded into four and 48 divided by 6.28 will give us 7.6 so i'm going to measure 7.6 around here this is 7.6 See the way I'm placing my tape. So I'll connect the line. This is it. And the length of the peplum that I'm working with is 10 inches. To get your own length, you minus your half length. You minus your half length starting from this line here, this 7.6 that I marked out here, to get your blouse length. So mine is 10 inches that I'm using for the peplum and these 10 inches is together with both folding and joining allowance so i will still measure 10 inches around here this is it Now add one side of it. I'm going to open it up. So here yeah, we're moving here by two inches. Slant it to this waistline and cut it out. up like this so I also cut out lining that I'll be using for it the same way and also cut out the sleeve the sleeve will be a cycle sleeve and I've done a tutorial on how to achieve that which I'll be dropping the link also so I'll go ahead and cut out the sleeve line it also and attach it to this top here is the paper I finished lining it. The next thing I have to do is to attach it to this wrap top. So I'm going to attach it like this. I'm going to attach it like this, right side facing towards the right side. Stitch it like this. And also attach the sleeve. This is the sleeve. Cycle sleeve. So this is it.
Thank you so much for watching to the end. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload new video. See you guys in my next tutorial. Love you guys. Bye.